Hi guys, uh, today I will be showing you guys the swatches of uh, Prima Tropicals palette. So this is a watercolor set which uh, I'm a very big fan of. I've been using these for a very long time right now. So I thought, okay, why not uh, show you guys what um, the colors are in this palette. So it's a very small, handy one which is there. So this is how it opens out. You have about uh, 6 and 6, 12 colors. Uh, you will never get a black you will also never get uh, a white in these kind of sets. You can always buy them separately. You can see that there's a nice slot which is left in the center. You can insert individual uh, cubes like that, um, um, cakes or pans, however they are called. You can buy those pans also separately. You can uh, fill them up with different things. So this particular one today is the Prima Tropicals palette and I'm going to show you guys the swatches. So I, you can also use these two uh, areas as palettes which I do quite often. So right now I'm going to just show you the swatches against each one of them and we'll see how beautiful the colors are. So I love how these colors come. This is my favorite travel kit in fact. This is a very nice pink. So the pigment in this is quite strong. This is a form of, this is probably, you know, um, the darker version of the green. In fact, this particular palette has a lot of greens. You will see in the end how many greens are there. This is a lovely blue. Um, I use this a lot for uh, the sky. So I like the fact that they have these really pretty names which go completely uh, towards like you will be very easily able to guess what the colors would be inside. So when you see tropicals and uh, the kind of things that come to your mind are going to be like rainforest and uh, a tropical climate place and uh, you know that these, this is the color range that would be over there. So I like this blue. Uh, it's not like the ultramarine blue. It is uh, like a mixture of a blue and a really nice green. Talking about green, here is our third one. So we have, uh, this is almost like a darker version of a sap green. And uh, here we have this, uh, like, like you can see dried leaves. That's good for that. This one is another one. This is very good also for the ocean. This is a mustard. This is a nice purple. In fact, I like this color a lot because it's kind of hard to find this in uh, a lot of palettes. And you can see how rich that particular color is. This looks like it's an orange or a form of an orange, but then it comes out to be something like a chrome yellow. This is more uh, like a mix of red and orange. You will never get a bright red in this particular one. This almost comes close to a red. This is like a crimson and we have a beautiful brown. So I've been using this palette for over, I think about uh, one and a half, two years right now. And I'm very happy with it. This is my go-to uh, whenever I'm traveling. And it's something that I absolutely love. So I hope uh, this is a fun palette for you. And this helps you to decide if uh, this is a set that would work for you. So I hope you had a good uh, time knowing about this. And if you do like this video, you can subscribe to my channel. So uh, you can see lots of other art videos that I put up and many more unboxing. Thank you.